So I want to give you a demo of the infotainment system I developed for on an, a, uh, an Android tablet. The system will be going into a car I'm building, the Superlight um, project car I'm doing uh, from RCR. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because the space for the head unit is very shallow. Uh, very difficult to get a, a one den or a two den uh, unit in there. So I'm going to be going ahead and using this thin flat panel uh, that comes on every tablet. So um, I'll take you to the functions here. As you can see, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it is highly customizable. Um, I've got a custom background here. I chose yellow because my car is yellow. And you can see the outline of the car here. That's basically the shape of the car. So it's individualized for whatever car you're putting it in. So to take you through some of the functions here. Um, I am going to have a backup camera. And that's because the rear vision of this car is very limited and you do need a backup camera. So here is a backup camera. Um, it's a live picture from my backyard. You can kind of see the, the winds blowing today in the, in the, uh, in the bushes and such. So uh, that's at about 720p um, being projected here on the, on the screen. So back to home button. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead and go into to media. So go into radio. And uh, this is a list of some of the local radio stations uh, near me. Um, WFAE is one of my favorites, public radio station. A great place to go get your news. You hear a pop on here in a moment. Get it playing. Oop. How do you like that? Car talks on. <laughs> With click and clack. So that's a great way to get your news or if you like PBS or whatever radio station you like. I think you can hear it. So we do have a central volume control here. You can make it loud or soft. Okay. So I'm going to go in now and look at my uh, my own private MP3 collection. So you got a little Bob Marley there. Little Bob Marley with uh, some album art. And you can see your entire collection as well. Okay, back to home. Now, do you want to show you that even though the audio is playing, you can do other things like, again, your, uh, your rear view mirror and the music continues to play. All right, while we're on audio, we do have an equalizer to, to help the quality of the sound with presets as well as custom set. I'm gonna turn the volume down here just a little bit. Okay, uh, one of the key things you want in an infotainment system is navigation and traffic. So really the, uh, the gold standard for navigation is Google Maps. So here's, a, uh, here's where we are. Um, you can see I live uh, near a lake. <laughs> And this is also a great way to get your traffic. And you'll see it here. You see the traffic out here. You can see it's, it's a Saturday morning, so it's mostly green and yellow, a few little red spots there. All right. Um, other useful information to have while you're, while you're out in your car is uh, finding where a local fuel station is, particularly if you're on a, some extended cruise. So you can see these are the local gas stations and it shows uh, regular, mid-grade, premium, and diesel. I'm using a lot of premium in my SLC. Um, so for example, Cashon is one of those stations, it's just a local chain that you wouldn't know about if you didn't live locally. It shows your gas prices, what a picture of the gas station itself. And uh, what's kind of important here as well is directions to the gas station, particularly if you're low on gas. Back to home. Travel info is uh, helpful when you're out on the road as well. Away from home, you know, where to find restaurants, hotels, that sort of thing. So like for example, we'll just choose restaurants here. And these are the local restaurants to where I live. Uh, Dressler's is actually a very nice restaurant nearby. It gives you ratings, uh, number to call for reservations, pictures of food, um, and again, uh, directions on uh, how to get there. Back to home screen. Uh, weather is also handy to have. Uh, my preference is weather bug, but you can choose whatever weather application you like. Here's the radar picture. It's a fairly clear day today. It's overcast, but no real rain. You can see that little bit of radar running through here. 
Um, so uh, going back to the main screen here, you can also do like long-term forecasts or just you know what it's going to look like uh, for the rest of the day, hour by hour, precipitation and temperature. Okay, so that's more or less all the functions that you would use uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, 95% of the time. If there are some sort of um, other functions that you want to use, um, the full list is uh, to the right with a simple swipe, and that's all the apps. So I hope that's helpful for you. Hope you found that useful and uh, maybe inspire a, uh, a user interface of your own that you want to develop.